guys and welcome back to another episode of Homegrown Herbs. So today is the update on the pastel, super pastel hepoid to the pastel hepoid. I'm going to show you the highs and lows of it. Um, clutch all in all, absolutely gorgeous. And um, there was one little one um, that I will show you. It's a little, got a couple of little issues, um, but we'll give it a fighting chance to see how we go. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so just to show you, this was the one that was very first out of the egg, um, as you can see, just a pastel, obviously pos het pied, but with this one, when it was in the egg, I thought it looked a little, when it popped out of the egg, it looked a little, I don't know, some of just don't look right with it, um, and I don't know whether it was just the shed, but just down by the bottom of the toe, you can see there's a little kink just in the bottom there, and also, to be honest, I didn't spot it straight away, it's probably my fault than anything, but also has what looks like um if it's a mistake, play ball. It's got what looks like a bit of an oversized rib, this side. Um just sort of protrudes a little bit. Um obviously this one won't go as a breeder. Um to be honest, it'll probably go to one of my friends at the pet shops as a pet only. Um and it will be advised not to breed. Um let's see if it gets feeding. Um tis a little bit due to the kink and that, I think, like lower down here, um, I don't think the rib cages are fully formed, so it's not sort of holding the body of the animal very well. So obviously it looks a little um, saggy, even though it's not that it's underfed or anything like that. I mean, it's not feeding yet, but it's not that old, um, so I'm not really massively concerned. But the body weight it has got a real good body weight. Um, it's a real shame because it is an absolutely beautiful looking animal. Um, it's extremely pretty. But I suppose these things happen sometimes. I will give it its best shot and see how we go. So, as I say, that's the first one out. Chain, but it's gorgeous anyway. Okay. Right. This one's wedged in its tube. Come on, you, ain't you come? Oh, there we go. He doesn't want it now, Chase, yeah. He's avoid the little man in the background. So this is the second one. Now this is a little male. Um the last one was a male as well, sorry I did forget to say. But yeah, so obviously super pastel to pastel. Well we think super pastel and we think pastel, but they just don't strike me as being super pastel. I honestly think there's something else at play, but I can't be a hundred percent so absolutely gorgeous looking animal beautiful head stamp again not as blushed as i'd expect it to be for a super pastel but i have been looking at the last few days um and believe it or not a pastel orange dream actually looks more closely to these um but i say only time will tell but again, beautiful clear bellies. And shut the dogs up, they're having a scrap. Let's see. Now they all think they're being fed. <laughs> but absolutely gorgeous patternings on these, really are some beautiful blushings. To be fair, this one is just like its dad. Um, dad's just exactly the same, obviously as he's grown up. Faded out, but still absolutely stunning looking animal. This one, once feeding, will be up for sale. So, he'll be about. Oh, sorry, now I do apologise. This one won't be up for sale. This one is actually pre sold. Um, it's already had someone eyeball it, so this one is already pre sold. So, to a friend named Matt, so this one's already going. Okay, let's just get the next one. Bark and scare you, did they? The naughty, are they? Do you? Right. So next one out. Again, for what all intents is paid, I can say is a super pastel. But again, as you can probably see from the pattern and stuff, for me, I just don't 
I don't see Super Bastel um, completely. I'm not saying it's not there or whether there's an extra dean on top or where, whether, as I say, there's something very similar that's playing the same game. But absolutely stunning looking snake again. Now, this one is a female. Um, I think so anyway. Did I say female on this one? Let's just have a quick pop and see what we've got. Yep, so little girl this one is. So this one will be when it's up for feeding and I'm happy with it going. Then this one will be up for sale. Absolutely stunning animal. Again, amazing blushings up this. Really beautiful. A lot of markers and that up here. It's an absolutely gorgeous looking animal. Whether the hepoids having any influence on them, I'm not sure. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really happy how some of these turned out, actually. They're really gorgeous. To be fair, I'm more expecting much different. Mom and Dad are an exceptional looking animals, even though they are just, for all intents and purposes, super pastels and pastels, but they are absolutely gorgeous. So, anybody interested in this little lady, when she's feeding, she'll be available. So, back in there, girl. If you're over there. Now, for me, the best till last, yes, Chase. Now, this for me is a little crown jewel. This is absolutely stunning, really is. Now, obviously, it's not super with that blush, not got a blushed head. Um, I've looked at quite a few um, of the, and saying that, I remember the original granddad to this as well pastel pie to this originally and for me I just don't see a pastel pied for me there's more to it that head just doesn't scream pastel pied to me it really doesn't um, I mean to me it looks more of an energy head than anything else so um, and I can't explain to you how orange these colours are it, the cameras do pick up a bit of it but honestly the the orange is really vibrant on this, really vibrant, it proper pops. So, but again, this one is a female, so 100% this little lady will be staying here. Absolutely gorgeous. Pastel pied, as for all intents and purposes, until proven otherwise. Um, I'm not 100% if there is something else going on. But we shall see. Right guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as I say, the little lady will be up for sale um, when she's feeding. If you're interested, just DM me. The little male, um, somebody saw straight away and snapped up um, before he was even feeding. Um, so that one's gone, obviously. The little one will be going um, more than likely to the pet shops as a pet only. Um, I've got a good friend um, at, a, at a pet shop that's quite local to me that I can trust. Um, and make sure that they get the pet Hi. they require. Hi. <laughs> come here, do you want to come in the camera? Come here then. Come here. Little rat bag. Let's just chase having a shell up and down as he does. So, yeah, as I say, I hope you enjoy that. Um, if you do want to see more of the upcoming videos, um, don't forget like, subscribe. Don't forget to share us as well. Um, obviously, get us about. We love and absolutely adore to have contact, communication with our followers, and obviously, we love to be able to help them be able to teach people as much as we can um, I'm always available um, messages emails whichever way you want to contact me on Facebook Instagram or on here whichever way you feel best I'm always here to help and educate as much as I can I don't claim to know absolutely everything I really don't but if I can help you I will try my best if not I can always shoot to somebody who can okay guys take care keep smiling let's teach not preach Bye -bye.